Hibernate provides two levels of caching to reduce the number of database interactions within the application. This improves the performance of our applications. The two levels of caches are first level cache and second level cache. The first level cache is associated with a session object. That is, Hibernate will execute all the updates, inserts, deletes we do against the objects in the session cache. It will flush those changes only when the transaction is committed or when we explicitly call the flush method. But the changes will be committed, although we call the flush method, the changes will be committed to the database only when the transaction is committed. So as long as there are no changes to the objects, if we call a read method from within our application, Hibernate will not go against the database to fetch that data. It will read those objects from the session, improving the performance of our application. The second level cache works at the session factory level. Hibernate allows us to configure different cache providers at this level. EHCache is the default cache provider. I have also used Oracle Coherence cache, which is a little advanced second cache, second level cache. Once the objects are cached at the session factory level, they are available for the entire application, not just the session, which will improve the performance of our application further. We can also qualify which classes or which entities qualify for the second level cache in the configuration file and also cache expiring strategies can be configured for these cache providers in the configuration file. The way it works is if our application tries to find an object, Hibernate will first check for it in the first level cache. If it is available, it will use it. If not, it will try it in the second level cache. If it is available there, it will use that object and data. If it's not available even in the second level cache, that is when Hibernate will go against the database.